Hi there, I'm Ben and welcome to my 100% completion and collectibles guide for the planet of Bogano from Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. So really quick, here are the trophies that we're working towards with this guide and the ones that are going to follow it. There's going to be one for each planet in the game and they'll be linked below. There's going to be a full commentary in this video, I'll walk you through everything I'm doing. There are certain instances where you'll have to walk into a little area you might not usually go to just so it counts towards the 100% explored on the map for the A Galaxy Far Far Away trophy. Most importantly for me to mention is that I'm doing this after finishing the story and I suggest you do the same. There are a lot of areas that can't be reached until you have certain powers or abilities like Double Jump for example. The way this guide's going to play out is that I'm going to clear each region out one at a time going around the map in roughly the same way you would if you were playing it for the first time. There are timestamps below for the start of each region along with a list of what you can expect to find there. The only area I don't go to in this video is Ancient Vault, there's nothing there. Well, technically there was an encrypted log but it's story related so you'll already have it. Okay, let's get started. Okay, we're going to be starting off with Landing Pad because that's where you start, that's where you land your ship. So this first place is underneath the uh, under where, underneath where the ship lands. Uh, this is a hidden area. This don't confuse this with a secret area. The secret areas are the ones on the map that you'll see um, one of one, two or two, whatever. This is just a hidden area needed for the hundred percent for BD One's hollow maps. So if you go down, you follow this boggling down here, and this is actually one of your shipmates. So if you force push this door open. You can interact with him here. He'll become one of your crew members for that trophy. And then you actually need to step inside the little area he was in, uh, like you see here. And then that will now count towards the map. It's, it didn't seem to count before. So next is a stim canister and secret number one. So you will need force push and slow down here. So you push the ball up, slow it down at the top, giving you a chance to run around. And best to jump up on these rocks so you get a better angle and then force push it. It's a bit of a hard shot, you have to curve it round that block. It may take you a few attempts but the ball always rests at that first place. So when it's in there that gate will open and you will find stim canister number one here. Which is also secret number one. Wait, can you carry more? Thanks BD1. As you can see there, that's the landing pad area 100%ed, all ticked off. Next we're moving to the Fractured Plane, and we're looking for Lightsaber, Sleeve, Peace and Justice 2. So from the ship, we're going to be going getting chest number 1. So this is the path you would take past this meditation point here. Up these, um, these vines here, you can climb up here. And normally you wouldn't be able to make this jump the first time you come here. You will need double jump, as you see there. And then you wouldn't run right round to this far edge here and you'll see the chest just poking out there. Want to see inside? Once you have the chest, turn around and we're going to be getting Force Echo number one, which is a dead boggling. You've just passed it. It was in this circle area here. It's right in the middle, you can't miss it really. There you go. Force Echo number one. There are oh, you only need 75 Force Echoes for the trophy. I will be getting a lot more of them, but I also may miss a couple. But you'll definitely get the trophy following this guide. Next is another chest. It is a long way round. You're going to need all sorts. You need double jump. You need wall run. Everything for this one. So you're going to be wall running around here, which is really satisfying. All the way round. Onto these vines, double jump again because you just get used to it after you getting it. You always seem to do it, or I do anyway. Up here for chest number two, which was has lightsaber material, neuranium, 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 neuranium. That sounds right. Okay, and then you turn around, jump, double jump across here, and then turn to the right here. And you will have seed or terrarium seed number one, which is feather fern. You'll actually need to go and put it in the terrarium inside the, the ship later on. 
I won't you won't see me do it in this video but that's where you need to put it and then follow this round for force echo number two Zepho colony and that is going to be fractured plane complete a statue place for the view of the vault I sense this site was chosen with great purpose As you can see there, 100% done, all ticked off. Next is Bogdo sinkholes. We're going for encrypted log number one and ancient sphere. So starting off from roughly where the um, the meditation point is, where we double jumped to get to the other place, the fractured place. We're going to be going round. Where this is the path you would take during the story. Uh, over here onto this zip line. You recognise that door there. We're going to be turning right and jumping, what is it, wall run, then vine jump. There's quite a long way around. We're, we're trying to get into that area with a fan there, but we're going a different way in because you can't get into this area or up high, which is where we need to go. So there will be stormtroopers, depending when you do this during the story. I recommend, obviously, during it after the story, there will be stormtroopers here. You can pretty much ignore them. You'll need force pull to pull that bridge down and then you're running all the way around here and you can't really see it but you can kind of see it <laughs> if that makes sense there is a rope swing here so you need to pull it towards you swing across turn around don't let go and then jump not yet not yet swing back then jump and then slow the fan down and land inside so we're not getting the chest here, we're getting the encrypted log, which is BD1. You can see he's pointing towards that ball, that sphere. You need to press down on the D-pad, and that will get that. Next, we are obviously going to be getting this chest, which is Mantis paint job number one. Uh, number, Yeah, this is the first number one. I've not marked them as number one, but yeah, Republic. This is your, your ship's paint job. Next, we're going to be turning around. Jumping down here, there are fans, you'll need to slow that fan down and you can jump. You can try and double jump in, but it doesn't seem... Oh, I did manage it at that time. But it doesn't matter if you land in the water. But here you have Force Echo number 3, Research Notes, which is also a Force Essence. Uh, there, you can see one of three. So you collect four, three Force Essences and your Force Essence will go up. And this is also Secret number 3, so that's a secret area. So next is a, another Force Echo and Secret Number 3. So this area has um, Ogdo, the legendary Ogdo creature. As you see, just run around here, around here. Um, in here, you can use your lightsaber as a light source. I think it actually, yeah, it does, it tells you there. Um, go around this corner here and you'll see the Ogdo, but we're not going to see the fight here. But yeah, he's one of the four legendary creatures you need for that trophy. That was quick. And then you can see the Force Echo over there in the corner, Bogdling Corpse. This is Life Essence, so once you get three of these, your life will go up. And right next to that, so that is a secret as well by the way. And then right next to that we have a chest which will need to be sliced. There, you'll need to press down to get BD1 to open it up, and then you can open it up for real. And this is Poncho Material Summy. Okay, BD, what is it? So moving on, that is that done. We are going uh, Bogdo Sinkhole, sorry, that's Bogdo Sinkhole done. Then we're going to Hermit's Abode which is following the path round. You've come here during the story. So from that door we saw earlier on, that's where we went before. Go back to this area now. We're going to go back around here, going um, over this pole here, drop down and into the Hermit's Abode. We're going to get the Force Echo. There's quite a few things in here for such a small area. Force Echo number five is in this larder here. So chop these down with your lightsaber. Grab that. Whoever lived here used this room for storage. And then turn it round for encrypted log number two. 
which is behind this fan. There's also a, a workshop table here if you want to change your lightsaber. So BD1 will run towards it, scan, and this is encrypted log number two. Some of these encrypted logs are story related and I will mention them, or you will already have them. Um, so don't worry about the numbers not tallying up. I think there are 18 and 19 in total. But I won't be picking 18 or 19 up in these videos. Just the ones that aren't story related. So next is chest number 5. You see this bed here. Interact with it. And then BD1 will run round. Then you can uh, overpower this switch. And behind you the circle area in the floor will open up. Once he's pressed it, and there uh, you can just drop in and get the chest. Chest number five, lightsaber switch, Eno Cordova, because this is his place. And then up the vines here, which is the story way, you would have come off to the right or left. I don't think it really matters. I always seem to go to the right for some reason. And there is a bunch of scrap on the floor here. This is another encrypted log. So if you just move around, go on, move around, there you go. BD1 will follow you and you can scan it here. This is the premonition. And then lastly in here we have Emitter, Eno Cordova, which is just next to the shortcut area. So this is again the path you would take in the story and then hop over, that's the shortcut there. Hop over to the left to find the chest. And that's the Emitter. And that is Hermit's abode 100% explored and ticked off right now time for the great divide there's quite a lot here or there's a big area at least so this is chest number seven poncho material Bogdoba bogano dawn so from the hermit's abode carry on up to the top again this is story path across this zip line And then I do a bit, make a bit of a mess. This I look down and see, and I can't see the creature. He, he's not there. I can't see him. I have a quick look around. I have no idea where he is. I can't. I don't know. I must have missed it. And then all of a sudden he's there. So he must have spawned in late or something. And he hits me before the chest opens up. So I do have to kill it and then try again. But yeah, that's the chest number seven. Poncho material. Next is going to be a, another Force Echo, number 6, that's just across this gap here, and off to the left, into this little alley or cave, it's just here on the right there, travelling to the vault. This tool was used by someone eager to reach the vault. And after that is chest number 8, BD1 skin Z gag wave, Z gag wave. I would say Z, but this is American, so it's probably Z. So this is where the big Ogdo would be. Again, story path. But this you can't do in the story. You would need force push. Push this bridge over, and the chest is right in front of you. There. So this is a nice new skin for BD. I think it's actually the one I'm. That can't be the one I'm using, can it? <laughs> Yeah, in he goes. What is it, BD? Next up, we have Force Echo number seven. This is again, this is a, a not a secret area, but it is an area you would not go to during the story at all. Sliding down this mud hill, so you need to jump over here, and then there's a rope right in front of you. You need to jump up, swing across, and then it's just up here. It's Force Echo number seven, Ancient Bones. And then directly next to that, just off, you can probably see it in the distance there, is Force Echo number 8, Resting Place. There are a few enemies in here. This is also probably a good place to do the uh, the lightsaber throw and hit three enemies, because these are weak little bugs, so you'll probably do that quite easily. So here, number Force Echo number 8 at Resting Place. So this area does loop back round, it doesn't go anywhere else, and then you jump straight back onto that, that mud slide. And continue to the end. We'll be getting chest number nine, lightsaber switch, valor and wisdom number two. So if you jump here, 
and then climb round you'll recognize where we are pretty much where we started at the bottom of that zip line there we go so that's again where this ogdo big toad frog lizard thing would be I don't know why my vines haven't popped in yet let's wait for it to happen there we go this game does have quite a bit of pop-in especially on the PS4 does for me anyway so over here so we're not gonna go in there yet that's the next area we're gonna just complete Great Divide first we're gonna wall run over here over here and then it's just off to the left up this little this little bank here that's chest number nine then we'll be turning around and taking the lift or the elevator if you will up to the top for force echo number nine this is story path up to the top here we go not up that path there we need to go left and then right and it'll be directly ahead of us there we go and then next we're getting two chests there next to each other just up these vines here you can see in front of us go on there you go so we're getting chest number 10 first I've done them individually but they are next to each other and then up these vines here inside so the first one we're getting has a slice I think because BD runs off so I just did that one first it does yeah so this slice one is the lightsaber material corundum probably said that wrong and then next to it is chest number 11 obviously lightsaber sleeve valor and wisdom number two and that is the great divide 100% explored and all chests and secrets I don't think there actually were any secrets in this part but everything else so moving on to subterranean refuge which is the area you just saw me sort of poke in um, at the top of the vines that didn't pop in so starting where we were with the two, te two chests you can just jump down not here or oh, you can just don't yeah sorry here and then jump down here and then across you can't jump from the top you will sort of not die but it will take you back to the top so you will recognize this again from the story you probably wondered how you get up that slope when you saw it because this is where you get the wall run ability so yeah we just ran to the back of this area got the wall run here and you probably wondered how you do this double jump is the trick so you can wall run normally you get about halfway up and then you don't make it but if you do the double jump it gives you that extra boost so this is force echo number 10 secluded sanctuary and as much fun as it would have been sliding down we're not going to be doing that we're going to be turning around a wall running across to the other side you can see a vine just in the middle there this is a bit of a tricky quite a lot needs to be done here so you need to vine across wall run again little transition there because I didn't make it first time so grab this and then you need to sort of aim off to the left there and try and double jump as far as you can to give you as much because wall runs don't last too long and then double jump up to this top bit here for force echo number 11 Cordova's Padawan and this is another life essence so if, I don't know how many you'll have up to this point but this is the second one for me because I've just done a fresh save and this is also secret number four so now we're jumping down you can see this enemy here just jump on top kill him and then turn right around and we'll have terrarium seed number two Kalpi there you can see once BD1 will scan it and there we go next is force echo number 12 meditation so get rid of him go on out of the way right turn around there we go so we need to wall run all the way around behind the vines you've probably seen this one there you go across there you can just see it. you can see it behind the vines when you stood in front of them speaking of the vines we will be taking those up momentarily here we go force echo 13 frustration 
or run across, take the vines or double jump now that you have it. And then you can double jump here. You usually couldn't, but you can go straight up and get Force Echo 13. And straight from there, carry on round to the right. If you look up, you'll see a blue block. Pull it towards you, and this will allow you to jump up and get Stim Canister number two, which is also secret number five. You're a lifesaver, you know that? And once you have that, that is Subterranean Refuge done. Next is Binog Mesa. You can see that orange circle there. We are starting pretty much where we left off before at the end of the last one. This is an area you wouldn't go to during the story. Like I said, this playthrough is sort of fresh. I did it just the story, just the story path. So anything extra, I've been able to um, to see what that is. And this is an extra area you would not go to unless you were exploring. So we're getting Force Echo number 14, Dead Splocks. That's probably not how you say it. Probably got a click in there or something. So round there, and then you just drop down here, kill this guy. And then you can see it there. Four echo number 14. So this next thing we're going to do is, I've put it down as hidden area, but it technically isn't hidden or secret. Um, you just need to run to this area to get it to to show up for the 100% for the um, BD1's hollow map 100%. So just kill these guys, run around, make sure it's, it's known on your map. Because you, again, you wouldn't necessarily come to this area if you're just doing the story. But we'll need to go back to where we just came from to get the next chest which is chest number 12 outfit material so run to the edge here and if you look down there'll be a bunch of enemies and a chest you probably saw it before from the top of the other area the great divide because we'll be going back that way in a minute again this is probably another good place you could do the lightsaber throw because uh, you probably hit three or four guys with it here so get rid of him come on I think there's one left. Yeah, there we go. There we go. I do love how it cuts them in half. So yeah, that's it for Binog Mesa. It's just these two: the chest and the uh, the Force Echo. What'd you find? So that you can check your map as well, and you'll see that it is a hundred percent. Those two little dishes there, dish areas. So starting exactly where we were. I've not moved anywhere. We're going to jump straight off and continue to the abandoned workshop. So this has two levels, this abandoned workshop area. So exactly where we were, we're just going to look down and you can jump on there and then across. There we go. So you should recognise this. This is the bridge we knocked down before and then went down the slide, slid down the mud hill. Instead of doing that, we're going to jump into the water in this area. You probably saw it if you had a quick look in. So this is the abandoned workshop, the, the lower area of it. Drop down into the water, press square to uh, submerge yourself. This first chest is on here on the left hand side of the, the column in the middle. That's chest number 13, emitter, which is for the lightsaber. And then move round to this back, keep following it all the way to the back. And you'll find chest number 14, lightsaber switch. There we go. And that's it for the water, thankfully, because nobody likes water sections. So, go back to the top now and move around the front of this second pillar. You'll need to go all the way around the front to find... Come on, figure it out. There you go. All the way around to the front to find the vines. And then you need to climb up these vines and there'll be a, a big spiral staircase ahead of you. There you can see that with the two little bogglings. And we're running into another secret door area. You will need slice, if I remember rightly, to open this. Yep. So there are two... There's the Force Echo old memoirs right ahead of you. Can't miss this one. This is also another Force Essence. This is secret number six. This is the final secret. 
So yeah, I have two or three there, you may have more. And then turn right around and you'll see BD1 jump off your shoulder here. This is um, encrypted long number four acquiring the holocron. So there is a fifth encrypted log, but it is story related. It's in the ancient um, monument area. So these two uh, are just extras now. This is a lightsaber sleeve, Eno Cordova. These aren't needed for any trophies or anything. I just, we were in this area, so I picked them up. So if you just interact with this table, you can jump straight back out. It will pick the sleeve up and then turn around. Um, and BD1's got a data log. I haven't got all of the data logs because they aren't needed, so I will be skipping some of them. There's one outside the front of the, the ship as well, which is a boggling nest, I believe. But that's not needed for any trophies, so I've skipped that one as well. Next, we'll be going right to the top of this area. Open this door up, and this one is actually quite a long way away. So we need to go and do the wall jumps as you would there to get back to this is the main door with a meditation point this is how you would leave this area to start with so you, we went this way before to get into the other area this is with all the stormtroopers are on the top here but this time instead of using the rope swing to swing back into the fan area we're going to be using it to swing across and that will take us to the top of abandoned workshop <laughs> it's a long way I know but this is the only way I could find round so jump, swing across, there we go, there are three Ogdos up here, and they're dead. So you will need to take care of those, and then there's the chest off to the right hand side here, for some reason these Stormtroopers don't hear me, Stormtroopers sorry, so you will need to slice this one open, this is lightsaber material, laminar steel, And then straight after that, we need to turn around and you see the dinosaur bones, or whatever bones they are. Not dinosaurs, are they reptiles? Oh, they've seen me now. So this is the last one. This is chest number 16, poncho material offshore. So once you've opened this, you've got everything else, this is it. You should have 100% clear everything. This is um, Bagano done. There we go. So I'll show you on the map now. All done. All ticked off. Right. Next we're going to be going to Zepho. So hopefully I'll see you in that video. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you on the next one.